Hello everyone, it's Shauna and today I am working on some graduation gifts and I've made some little journals. It's been a little while since I've made a video but not because I haven't been busy. These, these journals have really been keeping me busy and I thought that I was going to do a video of a flip through of them but I'm definitely not done yet. So um, first things first, I want to give a shout out to Renee at uh, lovely lavender wishes and I will link her channel in the description box below um, I've been following her to make these journals she did a nature themed and mine of course our graduation uh, but uh, hers turned out really lovely I forget who she said she followed in her video but that will be in her video description so you can check that out if you're interested um, so these two journals were made from these manila envelopes like this and I've used three of them for each journal and then uh, on the backs of my journal I did a little different than Renee not only in theme but um, I still got some clips in here because they're kind of drying but the backs of this uh, I did some napkin decoupage with some graduation napkins that I had um, so I have mixed things up just a little bit from Renee's idea partially just because that's where I let the theme let me go um, so let me show you what I've got and then I'll show you what we're gonna do today I've got a couple things to work on um, so I made the cover the cover kind of comes off I made it a shaker on both of these and then these balloons came from, and so did this frame, uh, a dollar store graduation card. Um, and I just cut out the pieces that I wanted of the card and then I didn't have to worry about this glitter doesn't come off, um, but I still get to have my really sparkly glitter. And then the shaker pieces inside of there. So this opens this way and has a pocket up here. And then, it opens this way and I'm not sure I think I'm gonna make this a pocket here too and then these are actually tags and I loved this idea um, it's just a tag die cut that I had but you can use any tag that you have and you can see half of it was folded over here and then a piece of paper will go in to hide that like in this one so these just make little flips and we're going to work on this part today to make some little um, tie arounds but um, this is a super great idea you can do this with tags on the tops and bottoms you can do it on the side just to make little flaps like going this way um, a really easy way to make little flips and flaps and then this actually let's take these off uh, let's see there's a pocket here and this one is drying there's a pocket somehow and it tucks in there like this one this one's already done and dried so it has this little piece at the, the end here and it tucks into this pocket here and on this one I made this part a little belly band so they can put like pictures or their cards that they receive or whatever in there and then this opens up and this is a flip out and there's a little page here. This is a little belly band here. Opens again. There's a little tuck spot here. Room for some photos here. On the side you can't see because it's getting too big. There we go, over here, just black. And then this, um, I'm gonna put a piece of, I think, red cardstock here and just uh, one of the girls that I'm giving this to, her school colors are red um, and the other is blue. But um, So this one, I'll put a piece of red paper here and leave it so they can put some pictures. And it just flips up like this and there's more room for some pictures. And then this page, I haven't fully done yet. Um, but this is another piece we're gonna work on today. So we'll go ahead and get going on that. And then in the back here, there's still gonna be another little insert here, a little signature, and then uh, one other piece to finish this inside flap so I need to work on the blue one and this is a little different from Renee's too she made a, a little um, she, she made her this page have like a circle so you could see it through either side and she had a beautiful little pressed flower and sticker in there so it was kind of fun but we're doing a little something different 
we're still gonna have the cutout piece. Um, this paper I've taken through uh, cut and emboss. I've used my die cutting machine with a die cut that's a cut and emboss. So it's actually a little, we'll, we'll see it a little better in a second. Um, it's a, a dry embossed little photo um, camera. And what I'm gonna do to it is just take some Versamagic ink and rub it over this part and it'll bring that camera right on out and all the little parts that are embossed. And I just love this technique so much. You don't have to be very particular because um, you're just kind of lightly touching the edges and it brought that little picture right out. So those parts are actually raised. You can kind of see the grooves in the paper. And that leaves a cute little photo frame there. So then I'm just gonna go around and ink everything here. Kind of bring out this blue to match her school colors. I thought this would be really fun to include because they can put a picture of themselves, their graduation picture, or maybe a picture of them and their friends, whatever. Um, so we'll bring this back over and fit it to the page where it's going. And also one other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, leave the top part not glued. I'm gonna put a piece of, I had a little scrap where to go. There we go. I'm gonna put this in here. I'll just go ahead and glue this in now. Um, so that way it's blue in the background and you don't see that it's a file folder. I hope everyone has been well and able to craft. Um, while I've had a little time off, uh, I've been going to the doctors and dealing with some stuff on my own too. So it's been a little bit of a crazy week, but Hopefully the videos will just keep coming now because I'm working on these graduation gifts. Got to get them done by June. Lots to work on, lots to do. Um, then I still have a lot of other journals I've been working on. So good stuff. We want to make sure this is good and glued down because um, we want to be able to have them slide in a photo there. You could use some tape at the edges or some washi tape just to make the edges a little smoother. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. Just stick a piece of the swashy at the edge. Don't want it to show, but want it to make that edge nice and smooth. Okay, there we go. And so then this piece, when we glue it in, and I'm okay with this little piece of an edge here because I'm going to, um, that washi tape is just gonna show. I need to move it up a little bit. I'm gonna put a trim so it will be fine. I'll probably use like some rig rack or something of that nature. Okay, then that's a little better. Right, so I'll go ahead and glue this down. And now when I glue this, I wanna make sure I don't glue uh, this piece because I'm gonna leave it kind of like you would a pocket, but in order to be able to slide a photo in there. Lots of glue. Just kind of make sure we got some on the edges here. All right. And get this in position. Oh, look, that washi tape is showing itself again. There's some scissors. Just snip that little corner off. Now that we've covered it in glue. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, so that was really fun doing some inking over the dry embossing and then still using it as a pocket so we can tuck that in there. And then the other piece 
I wanted to work on with you guys today is um, making these little buttons to go on here. And all I've used is just a piece of, you could use cereal box or thin chipboard and then a hole punch. Um, if you don't have a hole punch, you could use a die cutter or you could just trace some little something that's round um, and the size you want and cut them out. That works as well. So you want two for each one and um, to color these, I'm just going to ink them, but you could cover them with a cardstock. You could cut them out of cardstock too, I suppose. Um, you could use some paints. Um, I'm just going to try and get them all nice and inked up here. This would be a great job for some of those uh, paint daubers. You could use the paintbrush too and just use some acrylic paints. Pretty much anything will go for these, so. I guess really we only need to do one side. really good there okay and something to wipe your hands with and something that's not totally dry there we go okay so now I've got my cardboard circles all covered in ink and then um, I'm going to match them up and use uh, my crocodile and some eyelets And I think these ones might look kind of nice right in the center. So it's going to kind of create a little sandwich right here. Oops, I want this one to go blue. So all I'm doing to line them up is this tag has a little bit of a scallop and I'm just putting them on each side. Um, I think what I might do first is punch a hole so that I can see at least in one. So let's just set this one where I want it to go. see where the hole is. If you don't have the crocodile, you could always just trace it through there. Um, so it did kind of put it at a different position on the circle. So I'm going to match this one up and repunch the hole so that they are aligned. Them together like this. Put in our eyelet. Oop, maybe. Okay, there we go. Put in the eyelet. Make sure it's all nice and lined up. And that our crocodile is on the right setting. And just crimp it through. And that just made like a nice little good thing there. Then we'll do the other one and then we'll put the string and it'll make a little tie. So that's gonna make this have like a little closure, which is really, really neat. Make sure I've got the right side. Hopefully that's in the right spot. Let's see how there's something in there. There we go. 
Eek, where'd it go? There we go. This way. And then this way. Put in our eyelet. Cramp it down. Perfect. So that just made our little tags have um, like a little, little extra there, kind of like little buttons. Then what we're gonna do, take some of our cord here. I've just got this little little like glittery twine ribbon stuff and we want to slide it let's see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit we want to slide it in here so it's underneath so you'll want some thinner twine kind of pull it a little bit taut and around, and then we're gonna tie a little knot right here. Oh boy, fine detail work. Let's see. Okay, there we go, I got one tie. Pull it in there, and then we'll do it again. And now we're just gonna tie this on one side, like um, tie the knot on the either the top or the bottom, whichever is your preference. Make a little knot there. Okay, so there we go. There is our knot in there. I'm going to snip this end. You could keep it if you wanted to. I'm not going to. And then while I've still got this connected, I'm just going to decide how many times around I want this to go. We've got to get a little bit used to this twine. This cardboard will eventually kind of loosen up a little bit. There we go. And I'm just gonna go a couple times and maybe leave a little bit to hang down. Like that. Leave room to grab it here. So that kind of helps keep these little flips closed. Now on these tags to get these numbers and for it to say grad, I did use these uh, little die cuts that are um, Tim Holtz thinlets. Here, we'll zoom back out just a little bit. There we go. And so these letters are individual, so I just sat them where they needed to go and ran it through the die cut machine. Um, you could use stamps or punches or draw or, you know, whatever works best for you. So this will make like a cute little way to tie this up. And um, that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope you will uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna be hopefully showing a flip through once I'm done with these beautiful journals. And um, thanks again to Lovely Lavender Wishes channel on YouTube, which I will again link below um, for all of the instructions. She did 11 videos on how to make these journals. So definitely check out her channel, give her a big thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like these uh, little tips that I'm showing and um, this fun way to 
ink your dry embossing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, because I've got a lot of great more videos coming out. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.